Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock. Now here with us today we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy A70, and this is a device that does have the Google Account Lock enabled. As we can see here as we're going through the setup steps, we get to the screen that says that the device was reset and to continue, we have to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. And that's basically exactly what the Google Lock consists of. Google added it as a security feature back in about Android 5 or so to help combat some of the theft and fraud that happens around the purchase and sale of mobile devices these days. So when an Android device is factory reset without taking off the account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the reset is performed. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us to help them with this specific problem, usually either because they themselves got locked out of their device accidentally and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they purchased the device from a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then obviously they didn't have the login information to be able to get back into it. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove the lock from this particular model and that's actually exactly what we're doing right here right now as it's plugged in. The good thing about this procedure is that it's something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world so you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did here right now. So obviously, as you can see very clearly, we were on the Google factory reset screen there. And then once our program finished up that does the removal for us, the device just restarted. And now we should be able to see that we can now get all the way through the setup steps without seeing the Google account lock. No tricks here trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. We didn't log in with our own account or anything like this. This is actually really something that we can do with our programs. And we're just showing all of the steps here from start to finish just as proof that we actually can. So now that it's restarted, we're going to go ahead and start going through the setup steps here. So we're going to agree to the terms and conditions. And we don't need to bring any data over from an old phone. We don't need Wi-Fi, actually. So we can just turn that off and then skip. And now we're going to go through the Google services. Just skip those. We don't need a screen lock, so we can skip that. And these are all very good signs because previously we were never able to get to any of these options. We would have seen the Google lock by now. So that is a very good sign that it has actually been removed. We don't need a Samsung account, so we're going to skip that. And I think that should be it. Yep. There we go. We are all loaded up and at the home screen here. We can see that we have full access to all of the apps and settings and features. And this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So under the About Phone section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy A70, once I dismiss that, there we go. And then the specific model number there that we are dealing with here is the A705FN. So this is actually a device that is not originally from the U.S. This one would be sold in other countries, but they're very commonly imported into the country for use on GSM carriers by certain people who like the functions that an, that an international phone provides. And so we have had quite a few customers contacting us for assistance with this one. So if you have a Galaxy A70 and would like help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.